now it's working, so I'm gonna show you. This is uh, the plug from the remote control up there. And um, it should be feeding into this power plug, as you can see here on this uh, command link, okay? And then I only need one resistor here, so I'm gonna remove this. I really don't need two. And um, this is the plug. This is the pigtail to my Yamaha gauge here. This is the tech meter 6Y8 5320T um, and then 20 so 68 6Y8 gauge. And you can see four pins here, so I just uh, plug in the four pins in the back of this gauge of this uh, multifunction display and then um, also this pigtail here is coming from the engine as you can see there so I'm just gonna feed it into any of these open device ports actually um, there are three device ports one I'm using it to feed the digital gauge the Yamaha digital gauge. The other, I can use it for my from my from my outboard. Okay, as you can see here. So let me remove this for a better alignment. You know, so I am now one open device port. So this is the BUS. Okay, and this is the BUS, which has the six which is, you know, technically six pins that can feed into this. Okay, so this is the one resistor, this is the power, and this is the gauge. So this is the Yamaha gauge. And I'm going to turn the gauge on now. And you can see it's going to be energy. I'm going to turn the remote control on. There we go. Now it's uh, activate activating and now you can see 33.3 hours let's see uh, how many volts in my uh battery hit the mode okay so that's the oil pressure low high okay and uh this is the battery 12.5 volts so that's so you in this mode you only we only have uh three uh in this mode we only have three displays one is for the total engine hours which is 33.3 hours and that zero times 100 per minute is the rpm revolution per minute rpm okay so right now my engine is not turned on uh it's not running that's why um there is no revolution per minute now the second display is the oil pressure as you can see here is the low oil pressure here's the high low oil pressure and this here is the trim gauge okay so i am going to take a photo of this page as well okay so that's the three display there Let's see the set. So I guess that's telling me that the 12.5 uh, volts, I don't know what that LH is, but I'm going to take a picture of the, of this. Okay. Then uh gonna change the set. Okay, so that's that. Let me change the mode to 33.3 hours. There is the T. I I think that's the total engine hour for T. 33.3 hours. And there is the without T. Okay, so let me change to the other one. This is the oil pressure. Okay oil pressure and um, let's 
see anything to set, nothing. So I'm just gonna change it back to total engine hour, 33.3 .3 hours. And uh, let me explain the wiring here. Basically one terminator, this is the terminator, okay? And uh, um, if I remove that terminator, then uh, resistor or the terminator on this uh, command link junction box, then this gauge is going to uh, not show anything. It's going to be deactivated, as you can see here. See that? It disappeared. You know, because the loop has to be completed. Only one terminator is good enough. We don't need two. And you can also put it here instead of uh, at the end. See that? It went right back. You know, so this terminator just need one. Um, on this command link and um, and it will work okay so and this is the power if you don't feed the power into the command link and that feeds command link feeds into this uh, this gauge if there's no power from the key switch then this gauge is not going to be activated and this gauge is not going to be showing the engine hour and uh, all the other good stuff engine information so and as you can see this pigtail actually travels back to the engine okay so that's how this thing is set up but um, I want to show you something too where if I plug the second terminator in there it's not gonna do anything it's just gonna be okay so you know you really don't need two terminators here you only need one and you only need one command link if you have only one motor because you know you see I, I, as you can see I still got one device port here which I can plug into the tech meter okay um, but anyway so that's that's uh, what, what there is so I'm just gonna turn this remote control key switch off there you go and you can see it's off so there is the um, 6Y8 multifunction display um, and I'm going to 